hello guys welcome to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach with you how you can create a responsive image gallery with lightbox so here is a demo of this one project when i click on the first one image i'm able to see the particular image has been appeared inside our lightbox and have a uh, image caption and out of the one image have a uh, total images of the um, gallery have a uh, add when you will click on that you are able to see second one image third one image and fourth one image right and you can also get the previous image and you are able to close this one with the help of cross button and also you can click on that and you want to disable that you can click on outside of the screen right so let me tell you how you can get that so i go to my code editor and so i again i'm gonna get the images so i'm gonna show you i already made those so i'm gonna get those images this time i just show you step by step and paste on there right so we have uh, eight images right so I go to my code editor, inside my code editor I write the id container and inside the container I'm going to write again and write the image gallery and inside the image gallery I'm going to getting the images images 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so change the image numbers five six seven eight right just a minute sir let's see output of this one so those are images as you can see those images size is too large so we will manage it step by step right so i decrease the size of the browser and i go to i need to include the link style dot css i will create this one file inside a star inside the css for style.css so the first thing you need to do you need to use box sizing border box and margin padding i'm going to use zero pixel and margin will be zero pixel once you do that then you have seen the space has been removed from the page then the next thing have a container so i'm going to call the container and i use container and i use width max width 100 percent and i target the image gallery class all right so let me show you this one class based on there right then the next thing you need to do you need to call the flex box so i'm going to call display flex first i'm going to save that and let's see you can't see any changes because we need to work on the image so the first thing i'm going to add the image class i'm going to target the image so I'm going to use max width will be 400 pixel and max height, min height, sorry. Height will be 350 pixel. So first I'm going to save that and let's see this time. Just a minute. Oh, I... Okay, here's a mistake. So... right so those are images appeared inside my page one two three four five and six seven eight right so i want to move those images in the second line so i call the flex wrap and call wrap once you add that then you are able to see the image will appear on there as you can see so I want to display those content inside the center. So I call the justify content will be center. So sir, let's see. Right. And then I will 
use padding on the each image size will be 5 rem to make a space inside the each image so you will able to see as you can see right mm, I will use margin top will be around 500 pixel I want to move those images on there on below so, okay this will be too large so I use 300 pixel Um, 100 pixel I just uh, display those images in the center of the page right it's perfect then I'm gonna call the align item will be center because I will use the those images will appear in the pop-up box so I want to display everything in the center right so let's work on the gallery so when I I click it I can't see the pop-up box and I I'm not able to click on the particular image so we need to get the library so I'm gonna show you how you can get the library right the light box gallery inside the search engine once you said that then you need to open the light box to locate this one link and then inside this one page you need to get the library code so I'm gonna get the code and select your location or path close it go to desktop and this is your extract there and just a minute I where it is light box I search that light box on the open that and the first thing you need to go on district and CSS file you need to get the CSS file from there and add it in your project so I'm gonna add that right then the next thing you need to get the first I'm gonna remove this one then the next thing you need to go on JS file and you need to get the light box plus JQD file and go to your project and paste inside your JS folder last thing you need to do you need to get the images so those are images you need to get that and paste inside your images folder that's it once you've done that then you need to include those files inside your project so I'm gonna add the file CSS lightbox dot min dot js then the next thing you need to include the script file so I need to use js right once you do that then you need to add the images inside the anchor link so let me show you I call anchor link inside the anchor link you need to add the path of the image so I'm gonna get this one path and paste on there right then the next thing you need to add the attribute data light box and assign the value road trip right then you need to assign the title which title you want to display inside the page on the particular image so I call image title will be I know what image first right inside the anchor link you need to add the image code like this one so use the same code so first I'm going to save that and just a minute I'm going to show you I will manage the code then you will understand better then so right this is the anchor link this is a closing anchor link and say that I have an image and have everything is the same but I have used the attribute inside the anchor link so first I'm going to save that let's see on this time I click on that okay I have uh, this one image so I'm gonna remove this one image from there right so I'm gonna click on that as you can see I'm able to see the first one image and also closing button but we need to use the 
all the images then you will un able to change the images so I'm gonna change the images one by one so I use second right and this will be third so I remove those images because I don't need that I just show you how you can add that and this will be third image fourth image five six seven eight so three four right and here is the three image so four and this will be five this will be five this will be five no six and this will be six right and this will be seven this will be seven and this will be eight so first i'm going to save that and i'm going to remove also the four image five image six image seven and also eight so first step that let's see output of this one so i'm going to click on that i'm able to see the first one image as you can see image one of eight and i am able to change the image like click on that second one image third one image where is uh, third one image and you are able to change the image with the help of clicking a side button i mean arrow sign so when you click outside of there then the image has been removed now our image light box has been removed from the light box so this video is all about how you can create a responsive image i'm going to show you also you in the line as you can see when you will get that as you can see i click on that this is a small screen you can also check out on the google developer tools so i use iphone just a minute so it's getting a loading time so I click developer tool and right so why just a minute let me refer that I can right so when you will decrease or increase the size so right as you can see So you can check out on the different layouts on the page. So hope you are understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.